Welcome back to AP Psychology in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Perception involves two things. Bottom-up processing, which is where you experience sensory inputs without any prior knowledge, and top-down processing, which is where your perception of things are influenced by prior experiences, expectations, and knowledge. Internal factors of perception include schemas, which are mental frameworks that organize and interpret info, and perceptual sets, which are predispositions that affect your interpretation. External factors include context, experience, and culture. Culture. Now let's have some fun. This is where I trick your mind with my own visual things. So let's start with some gestalt psychology principles. In this image, there are only hexagons on the screen, but your brain fills in the gaps and sees a soccer ball, which is a principle called closure. In this image, if you focus on the white color, you will see a vase. But if you focus on the black color, you might see two faces. This is called figure and ground, because you're assigning one over the other as a figure and background. In this image, you see two separate groups of dots. You likely see this one as one big group of dots because they're all close together. That is known as proximity. In this image, you likely see it as four rows of circles, triangles, circles, and circles. But I bet you didn't see it as four columns of simple shapes. This is because your brain groups together things that look alike, and this is known as similarity. Alright, now let's speed run through all the binocular and monocular cues. Retinal disparity is the difference between the images seen by the left and right eyes. Convergence is where your eyes will turn inward, or converge, on one object. Relative clarity is where you perceive things as being farther away if they are hazy or blurry. Relative Relative size is where you perceive smaller objects as being farther away. Texture gradient is when something appears more detailed when it is closer. Linear perspective is when parallel lines look like they converge, but in reality they are simply just farther away. And finally, interposition is where an object blocking another object appears closer. Alright, a few more things. Change blindness refers to your failure to notice changes in an environment. Have you ever noticed how even in a crowded party full of people, you can always notice when someone says your name? This is called the cocktail party effect, which is the ability to focus on one stimulus in a noisy environment environment. Notice how in this image, despite the door being open, you still know it is a door and the same as the first image. This is called perceptual constancy. You know this game at arcades? It makes you think a light is moving in a circle, when in actuality lights are just turning on and off. This is known as apparent movement. Finally, I want to test something on you. Watch this video and tell me how many passes the white team makes. Go! Yeah, yeah, 13 whatever, but did you see the bear in the middle of the video? This is called inintentional blindness, where you miss something because you're focused on something else. Alright, on the screen now are AP style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the answers on the screen now. I will see you in the next one.